Abraham, your life. Danny Sloggett Vision. Yeah. People keep asking me questions about you. Yeah. They say, when will he move to the UK? I, they say, when are you coming to the UK? He's lived in the UK for 40 years. Yeah, I came in 1971. Abraham, can you please tell these people your life story as much as you want them to know? Because they keep asking me questions about you. Well, please tell me your life story as quickly as possible because people have not got a clue. I bought, I, 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 I think the best way to describe my birth is after the three bombs. And I mean the atom bombs. The first one is experimental in uh, Los Alamos. The second one was on Nagasaki and Hiroshima. Then I Keep telling them your life story, yeah? Yeah, I will. He's filming, they need to know. I feel like I'm asking me, Abraham, tell them. And, uh, maybe I'm lucky, I realise that I am. I realise that there is me, and there is my parents, and my brothers, and sisters, and all of them. And, I realized myself, maybe very early in time. So since then, I made it a rule my life according to me, rather than to live my life according to my environment, my parents, my brothers, my sisters. Society which I grew up in, the teachers, everybody else. You are getting the full story. Why do you keep asking me questions about somebody else? Do you think I'm a grass? Do you think I'm an informer? Well, I am not. I do not talk about other people because I'm not one of them people. But Abraham, he will tell you himself, his life story, his whole life. But he won't tell you everything. The names have been changed to protect the innocent. And certain things and dates and locations have been moved. But anyway, a quick rough life story of Abraham. I don't know which part you're up to. You're not getting the full story, but you're going to get some of it. The part we want you to hear. But it's not a lie and it's all true. And my name is Danny Michael Sloggett, and this is Abraham, and he's going to tell you a bit of his life story. Shine on. <laughs> where are you up to? I'm up to where I was born after the three bombs. Well, you're taking a long time. Get to the point where you left, in, where you left Israel and come to England. <laughs> I'm only joking, by the way. Me and Abraham play. Don't we, Abraham? And we always have a laugh. We have a lot of fun. Why don't you try it? Why don't you try having a lot of fun? Yeah. So Abraham, basically, you lived in Israel till about you was about 21 years old. 25. Abraham lived in Israel till he was 25. Then he moved to England. The year was 1970. Yeah. So Abraham moved to England in 1970. Abraham, 1971. How long did you live in England for? And what was your experience of England like in about one minute? The rest of my life, you know, I was in England. And, uh, the, the, the... That's how he met me, you silly yeah. person. How do you think Abraham met me? By living in England. Abraham lived in England from 1971. So how about that? How do you think Abraham met me? <laughs> This is how Abraham met me. Abraham met me. We met Abraham. You met Abraham. I met Abraham. I met Abraham 20 years ago. When did you meet Abraham? So Abraham, where are we? We're in 1971. I arrived in London, penniless. No return ticket. No, nothing, but I trusted my calm, I trusted myself, and things changed. I soon find a job, and, and my life changed. And we're happy life, still 
please. Thank you. Even though England was like an individual of people, it's a dark, rainy, cold place. When I arrived, it was the opposite. Sunny, warm, lovely place. There was a lot of bomb sites. It was just. It's just after the Second World War. There was a lot of bomb sites still in London. It was very deprived. A lot of poverty, a lot of pain. Especially the East End. And that's where I started, with the Bigel Bakery. And uh, I got involved in many businesses of Bigel Bakery. And different, and a different kind of life. Free, happy, did what I want, always trusted my karma. So if I needed money, money came to me. If I needed a friend, a friend I met. Here I am, your friend arrived. His name was Danny Sloggett, and he arrived in the form of me. And here I am, Abraham, and I've met you in the last century, and I've known you in this century, and I've been to Jerusalem, and you have been to Jaywick. And we're going for our next adventures all over Europe. Yeah. Me and Abraham have only just begun. So how about you shine on? And if you can't shine on, how about you shine off? Me and Abraham have got a lot of adventures and a lot of dreams to come true. I'll pass you back to Abraham. Because I just wanted to tell you that I was here. And I wanted you to know that I was here. Here I am. Here I am. I'm here. I'm here. Shine on. Shine. <laughs> Where are we, Abraham? We are now in Jaywick and we are in the JJJ pub having a nice beer. Well, can I just toast you and say shine on? Shine on. And that is Abraham's life story, but I'm going to let Abraham finish his life story. We cut a lot out because you're, well, you, you need, you don't, you can't know too much. So Abraham, what is the, con what is the conclusion? Well, tomorrow, Flying to Spain to start a new, a new beginning, a new revolution. We've been to Spain two or three times already. This revolution has been going on for years. Yeah, yeah. It will go on for more years. We're going to take a bit of desert and turn it into a paradise. Happy three people like me and Danny. So Abraham, what do you think of me? What do you think of Danny? I think Danny is a great person and he's true to himself. And I think Abraham is a great person and he is true to himself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Shine on. That's all you're getting from us. Abraham, thank you so much. Love you thank lots. You. Love you Shine, on, Shine on, brother Ham. Shine on. Yes.